Included with every sale of the cylinder arm extension tables for the 341, 1341 style machines uh, is going to be a table. The table has a cutout and the cutout goes over the accessory boss on the table. It will come with a cleat and that cleat is designed to attach the table to the machine. You'll get two fences. These are the guides that you'll use to make the straps and help with seams. And the attachment hardware. These are the screws and wing nuts to attach the fences to the table. The attachment screw that I use to attach my table to my machine is the screw that came with my Texo 2750. It is the screw that is attached to the accessory boss on the machine. If your machine does not have one, you can reach out to your sewing machine manufacturer and ask for it. I have found that an alternate screw is a 1032nd screw or an M5 will work. However, I give no guarantees that those will work on your machine, so you should certainly reach out to your sewing machine manufacturer. What I suggest when you get your table is to take your cleat and attach some double-sided tape to the cleat. This is Scotch Extreme Mounting Tape that I buy on Amazon, but you can get a 3M version. Just need something that's super heavy duty so this won't come off. So you take the tape off. Exposing the stickiness. We're gonna put this off to the side for a second. And we're going to attach the table to it. So you lift up the uh, presser foot and slide your table in place and it will surround the accessory boss that's on your machine. That's the hump in the middle of the arm. Next, I take the cleat and hover it over the hump, but I'm gonna put the screw in there too. And the reason why I wanna do that is I wanna make sure I get this in the right spot. So I get my screw in the right spot and don't press down on the cleat yet because you want to make sure you get everything right. This tape is pretty strong. And then just screw, take your screw and turn it in place. And now the table is attached to the machine. When you want to use the fences, for the machine, you know, making a strap or what have you. You're just gonna put those in place, one to the left of the needle and one to the right of the needle, and then use the hardware that's included to attach everything. With the table installed, the bobbin is still accessible. You can get it and change it out as needed. As you can see, the table does not move on the arm and barely. Um, it's held in place on this side of the needle, uh, to the left of the needle because of the shape of the notch out. It's held in place uh, to the right side of the needle with the screw uh, on that accessory boss. And because the table has a nice fit, there's no need for any support hardware underneath the table like I used to provide. We don't include those anymore because they're just not necessary. The table doesn't move, um, certainly not excessively. And so that so we have no concern that the, that the table is going to fall down. There's no need for those additional supports. So thanks so much. And if you have any questions, just let me know.